Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I'm using the Colorful Season set by Stampin' Up. I bought this because it has so many different stamps uh, for different kinds of cards. So I'm gonna use the Cherry Blossom branches today. I'm also using the Ellen Hudson Wonky Backdrops, just these three dots of solid ones. I'm gonna start by stamping these dots onto a piece of A2 size Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm using Fog Ink by Simon Says Stamp. I think it's just one of the staple inks you should have in your stash. It's just a really nice, subtle background. And the reason why I'm using this ink is because if I stamp over it, you really won't be able to see it. So it's not gonna affect the flowers that go over this background. So I kind of started big in the middle and worked my way out to the smaller dots. There are two branches in the set. There's a small and a large. The small one is actually a two-step stamp. The second stamp is the flowers that fit around the branch. I'm gonna stamp all of these twice because my ink pad is dry. This is Memento Rich Cocoa Ink. Now the second branch, which is the longer one, I'm gonna put beneath this one and I'm gonna curve it, but first I wanna position it about where I want it. And once I get it on my misty lid, I can move it around a little bit. So I'm gonna take the edge and curve it upward a little. And then I can put it down onto my cardstock to see how it looks. And I decided I wanted the left side to also come up a little bit. So then I'll just pull that off the lid and curve that upward as well. And that is the way I want it. So I'm gonna ink that up with the same ink uh, twice. And uh, then the next one, I'm also gonna do this long one. And you can see I'm slanting it a little downward. So I'm just trying to make these branches look different. And then once I uh, get that on the lid, then I can curve it upward as well, just to kind of make it look like it has some shape to it. All right, once I get that, I'm gonna ink that up and stamp it. And then finally, I'll do the small one one more time. And you don't wanna curve this one because it is a two-step stamp and you're not gonna be able to curve those flowers. The flowers on this second step are really easy to line up with the branch. I'm using Blushing Bride ink by Stampin' Up. I'm using this color because I thought it would go well with the fog. It's kind of muted and it's not very bright. So I'm gonna ink up my flowers and then I'm gonna add this one little step to add some detail to my flowers. I'm gonna take a rose red marker. I'm gonna use the thick tip and I'm just gonna add some dots to the center of each of these flowers. For the little kind of buds that are on the edge, I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of the marker at the very edge where the uh, stem is gonna come into. All right, once I get that done, I can stamp it and it comes out beautiful. I love this color with the fog. I'll repeat these same steps with the Blushing Bride and the marker for that bottom branch. You can see how pretty this is uh, with that little pink in the center. There are three other flowers that come in this set. I'm gonna stamp two of each of these using the same technique of covering it with the Blushing Bride and then adding some rose red marker in the center. So I'll do two of each of these three different flowers just to make sure I have enough and then I'm gonna cut each one out. I've positioned these flowers on the two longer branches in the center. And once I get them all set up, I'll take each one off individually. I'll put some two-way glue on the back. I'm using some tweezers to hold them and then I'll put them back where they were. So I'm gonna do this on all of the flowers here. You can notice that I've got one hanging off the edge all the way on the left-hand side. And that's my last one that I'm gonna adhere. Now there are some gaps in between and I wanted to fill them with some of these flowers. So I'm using that second step of the small branch that has the flowers on it. And the one on the very end is kind of a bigger medium-ish flower. And so I'm gonna cover the one next to it with some surgical tape so that I can ink it up and not get ink on that second flower. And then I'll take my tape off and I'm also going to add that little dot in the center with my marker and then I'm gonna stamp it. And I'm gonna do this multiple times. I'm just gonna reuse this surgical tape every time, just kind of put it back on there, ink it up, add the rose red marker and then stamp it down. So everywhere I saw a gap where it looked like there, it was a little empty, I filled it in with this flower. You can see I had a few here. And then for the last one, I wanted, it was just a smaller space. I wanted a smaller flower. So I found one in the middle of the stamp that looked good. So I covered both sides with the surgical tape so I could isolate that one flower. I did the same thing, inked it up, added the marker, and then stamped it in my small area. I decided to accentuate those middle parts of the flower just a little bit more by taking the fine tip of that same marker and just adding some darker dots in the center. Now I'm gonna trim off that flower that was hanging over the edge, and then I'm gonna trim this panel a quarter of an inch on the side and the bottom. 
And then for my sentiment, I'm gonna use my Stampin' Majig because I had a hard time seeing the stamp. Uh, I'm not sure why, it just was hard to read. So I decided to use my Stampin' Majig. I'll put it right in place to the right and the bottom of these branches, and I'm gonna ink it up with that same Memento Rich Cocoa ink. And it turns out I only had to ink this one once for some reason, but this stamp also comes with the set. I'm gonna put some ATG Tape Runner on the back and adhere it to some early espresso. It's just a dark brown cardstock. And then I'll put Tape Runner on the back of this and adhere to my card base which is just Nina Solar White and that is the card for today kind of a subtle card it's so pretty I think you could also use it as a sympathy card anyway I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time thanks for watching